Yeah. yeah. May 26. Uh, it's day three of the vintage car, and uh, it's done. It's done. Well, all we got to do is, is put fuel line, inline fuel filter. Uh, Richie went ahead, took the tank off, welded up that spot. We need to plug this off with a, a cap and, uh, and run some fuel, put some fuel in it and, uh, and start it up. But we got oil and everything's done. Everything on the list is done, done and done. Even the fuel tank deal, everything is crossed out. We even got the old Micron on there. This is how you turn it on right here. Okay. Turn it on. Yep. Yeah, them brakes are at the end, but th that's good. If you want it further away, we can move the rod back up, and it'll make it. It'll no, make the brakes no, down it's, it's further it's good at the end. Right now. But these shoes are a little. Wow! Big. Look at this. This is your spark plug temperature. Well, I guess we shouldn't expect a whole heck of a lot out of this. It's a used unit, right? Yeah. It ain't no 84 Dude, degrees in my... here, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. It's 70 way up there, so... I gotta put my hernia belt on. Just look Re at how fat I am. I know, I but suck. dude, I'm telling... Well, first of all, lean, lean your head up. Your, with your helmet and everything, you're gonna be about like this. Lean back. Yeah, that's even worse. It is? Yeah. Well, you just have to maybe slide yourself backwards a little bit, you know? Then I won't be able to reach the pedals. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Because I'm reaching for the brake there. But you ain't going to need the brakes in this very Not much. a heck of a lot, no. Turn nine and end of the straightaway. Maybe a little bit going into two. But you can, can you see that, Gage? Damn, you look like Jerry Eccles. No offense, Jerry. <laughs> look at this thing, Jerry. Yeah. We've all seemed to have got something like that. I was but never see, like this. I'm, I'm this size all the way to here. My le I don't have fat legs, but I got it. I got this much in my ass, too. Yeah. That's what kills me. I, I'm just like mom. Mom gets fat in the belly, gets fat in the butt, too. Plenty of room over here, eh? Yeah. Is that uh, the chain guard ain't it, hit? I can't even feel. No, it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. So everything's working out. Yeah, um, it, yeah that's, that throttle cable is is right there. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're you're touching it. You're yeah. touching it, but you're not well, I mean, you're not opening the throttle or nothing. It, so. If it starts bouncing around, you know, we can actually zip tie it to the the, the tank rail? the tank mount right here. Now work oh, the okay. work the gas a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, we can do that just just to get it away from you. Yes. But because it comes it comes right up here, but we gotta fix it. That, it it's too like hard. It. It's just that's the way this crap show works. That's the way they just make these things, design these things. I hate this stuff too, but I just shut this off. You push both of those little ones to shut it off. All right, cool. We're good. Right. So we, we had to get the way we had to put oil in the clutch. The uh, the the plug I put in here. This clutch was was Mike's clutch with the came with the cart, and he didn't have external adjusters on that clutch. We put those on. So when you added oil to a fresh rebuild, or you were gonna go ahead, Rich. I got it. You were gonna drain the oil, change the oil, whatever. This was a plug just like this here. You took the plug out and the adjuster bolt was actually inside the clutch, right? So you just take that out and you would put the oil in and you'd rotate it back to whatever, you know, uh, degree that you wanted your oil filled to. And when it came oozing out, you knew it was at the level you wanted. Well, guys have been putting these in with these outside adjusters because otherwise you have to, you have to take the adjuster and the sleeve and everything, the bolt and the sleeve and everything right off. And that's what I had to do. And I know what Ace is probably thinking. Ronnie Lorang is probably thinking. Uh, you took, you relieved completely. Took one one bolt off of one spring, and the other five springs, and this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Rich, and Rich agreed with me. All six of those springs came in a package from John Rich with the with the kit. Even if they were made the same day at the same time on the same machine 
in the same with the same material out of an extruder through an extruder to make the springs somebody had to make the steel to begin with yep. and deliver it to the company that makes the springs there's no saying that any portion that of that spool roll whatever you want to call it that material wasn't exactly the same i mean there, there yeah. there's just i mean the, just like anything else we're racing go kart We're playing with go karts. We're not going to the freaking moon. No. Nope. We're not. We're not launching something off into space. It's a go kart, right? So I had to take one of those out to put oil in the clutch because that where that plug is at, it's right on top of one of the weights or something, and part of the pressure plate or something, and the oil wouldn't go in. And. We got all six of them back. Got them adjusted properly. It's going to be all good. Now, if you were going to adjust your clutch. And you wanted to burp it, obviously that would work, I think, for pissing out air or burping it, but it won't be any good for... No. So the, until we can get it back off again, my clutch that I got with the, the, the Zip Vintage Cart had four plugs on, on this side of this, this body line here. One, uh, it was at 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then there was at least... Two more on right off, right next to them. One here and one there or something. Because there's guts in there. There's guts in there underneath. I remember when I drilled and tapped for that thing, I screwed that plug in and tightened it down to make sure it wasn't going to interfere with anything on the inside. But I didn't make sure that it was free and clear to dump oil in. And so as soon as I started pouring oil in, it went all over the clutch, went all over the floor and stuff. So. Live and learn. Everything else is ready to go. Um, all the nuts and bolts are tight. Everything's uh, wired. We gotta, we gotta do a, uh, a front end alignment. Do you want me to raise the steering wheel up as far as I can? I will. I don't know that it's gonna go up a whole bunch more. It might go up a little bit. I don't. Uh, if you can get it up a little more, yeah. If not, without a bunch of headache, then don't. Because what? How are you gonna do this? When you go to spin it, it's gonna. Well, I can disconnect them from the gauge. Oh, okay. That won't be too bad. But... Then we gotta snip the things back off and right. Yeah, or else it'll wind up around the nut bar. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my big old belly belt. My you know what I got? I'm gonna say this right on camera. You know what I got? I got slimming underpants. I mean, let me show you, folks. I have I have underpants. Stop it, Brent. Don't even start with me, man. Okay, you don't know. You don't know what it's about. You don't know what it's like to be fat. Yeah, skinny uh, guy. My the shorts are long shorts. They go to your knees, and they go up, up almost to your, your up to your chest, just below your chest. And they're probably I'm not kidding you this wide. Yeah. And the legs are like this wide because they're spandex. They stretch. I have a long sleeve shirt as well that looks like it's the size for a six year old. Yeah. Just slip it on and wear it. But it actually works. It'll it'll rock this stuff right on down to where I can put my suit on and off without sucking my gut in and stuff. And you can bend over and get in and out of a go kart with that thing on. Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time breathing. You're gonna have a hard time getting out of that go kart. Yeah. Well, make sure you bring me a coat. I will. That way, you know, if you don't want to wear the whole suit, I, I gotta go home tonight and try my suit on and see what happens. I mean, cool. Yeah. I think I left. We my... got the Azusa jackets. That's what he's talking about. Bob, Bob, yeah. uh, Bob, you know, Special K Racing. Bob Kurkowski's favorite Azusa racing jacket. Yeah. Uh, we've got a whole box of uh, tote full of them up there, left over from the go kart joint. So the kids wear one. I got one. Kenny's t took one. Why not? You should take one too. Yeah. We'll get them well, now. You can try them. The hernia surgery, man. It, it's like. I'm afraid to do any ab exercises because if I rip that oh, I know. I mesh know. out of there, then I'm screwed again. So what do you do? You turn into a fat guy like me. It well, sucks. turn sideways. So you're just belly. You, you're, you're not. You don't have the the big chins like I do. Yeah. You don't. You know my my chest is fat. My arms are got a little fat. Yeah, and I'm oh, wider on the stairs and my tits are bouncing. I get wider like in the that, shoulders and everything, man. It sucks. My belly is just too big. I need to. I need to be like that. You're not as far overdone as I am, though, man. Well, but we'll see. If I can't get into that that enduro go kart, the the Yamadog and drive it, I don't care, man. As long as 
somebody gets out there and has some fun. That's what it's all about. Just getting just getting away from home for for two three days would be worth it for me. So, well, this thing ain't been on the track in thirty plus years. So, it'll be nice to see it go around. Yeah. All right. Well, we are going to get inside and watch some of the thank God delayed IndyCar race. They're about a hundred laps in, I think now. So. They were 20 when I went in to go to the bathroom. Yeah, they were, so. I think they were 38, 35 or 38 when I went in to go to the bathroom. So that's it, folks. Uh, vintage car, as far as we're concerned, done. We're not going to start it until later on when he comes back to get it next weekend. Um, next Saturday, I guess, because yeah. Sunday I'm going to be heading out. Yeah. So, uh, got Todd Lorraine coming in tomorrow. And then you got to get the trailer out and cleaned up and... Uh, get all the get everything packed up get everything out of there that needs to come out get this cabinets packed up and make sure we Are got to be able to roll this out of the way so we can yeah get, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah 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 piece all right, of cake. Cool. all right so i'm robert i'm richard and we're the lawson brothers and uh we're praying for you and we're going racing again <laughs> talk to y'all